A Grove sophomore wants more than anything to be the top competitor in her sport. But around every corner, there's a new stereotype to ignore and stigma to conquer. Good morning, Indiana's Beth Vaughn introduces us to the Chinese dragon. And even bigger dreams. I am 16 years old. Amy Hollowell just finished driver's ed. The speed limit's gonna be my problem. <laughs> but her real goals aren't on the road, they're on the track, at the wheel of a go-kart, and hopefully one day soon, driving a Formula race car, and one day maybe an Indy car. We're hoping to get there someday. At times, she's so close, she can taste it. You know, to her, it just is so natural and fluid. It's, it's pretty amazing to watch. For now, her team consists of her dad and her brother. Crew chief, bottle washer, everything. It's <laughs> <laughs> and together, they're lapping the competition. Last year, Amy was an undefeated champion for the World Karting Association National Road Race Series. Her dad tells me the boys just stopped showing up. <laughs> not wanting to compete against the Chinese dragon. My helmet has a dragon on top of it, and my ethnicity being from China, it's kind of suited for it. Adopted from China at just 15 months old, this Center Grove sophomore could have never guessed the twists and turns her journey would take, from the high school basketball team to throwing the shot put for the track team. Prove them wrong. Defying the odds has become a hobby. Girls shouldn't have to be limited to what they're doing just because a guy or somebody says that they can't because they're too small. A message for other young women with a passion for something considered untraditional. Go for it. If it's something you love, why not? <laughs> and that's how Amy Hollowell, the Chinese dragon, hopes to race her way into the history books. In Newcastle, Beth Vaughn, RTV6.